The European Union's regional policy contributes to a better life for people in Europe. Post-2020, a new cohesion policy ensures that all corners of Europe take part in the green and digital transition. The policy is designed to be more flexible than ever and can react to unforeseen challenges. So what's new? Five main objectives now drive investments. A smarter Europe achieved through innovation, digitization, economic transformation and SME support. A greener, carbon-free Europe, implementing the Paris Agreement and investing in clean energy to fight climate change. A better connected Europe, with strategic transport and digital networks. A more social Europe, supporting social inclusion and delivering equal access to healthcare. A Europe closer to citizens, based on locally-led strategies and sustainable urban development. In line with these investment priorities, regional funding is more tailored. It continues to be largely based on GDP per capita, but new criteria have been added. Youth unemployment, climate change and migrant integration, for instance, to better reflect reality. 80 measures make regional funding simpler post-2020, so it's more straightforward to access support. These include shorter, fewer and clearer rules, less red tape for businesses and streamlined implementation. All in all, the framework is more flexible and results-driven. A new generation of interreg programmes within and outside the EU will develop joint services and overcome obstacles across borders, strengthening solidarity. By ensuring a sustainable coronavirus recovery, the EU's cohesion policy delivers resource-efficient growth and competitiveness for all its regions, shaping a stronger future for Europeans. <laughs>